Welcome back to another episode at Economics Design. Continuing on with our theme of the month, we're still talking about options. We've covered quite a bit on options. We talked about volatility. We talked about how options and volatility match each other. We talked about comparison of CFI and DeFi. We talked about all these DeFi protocols. And we also talked about very simple kind of option functions, the simple call and put strategies. So today I want to discuss three different strategies that you can use in options. And how is this relevant to next week's episode? Because next week, we're going to look at one of these other DeFi protocols that looks deeper into different kinds of strategies. So you can mix and match them in, your, in, in one transaction. So it becomes cheaper for you, as well as you can see the different kind of risk management style that you can think of to help you manage your risk for your asset. So these are three different options, three different alternatives for you to look at when it comes to strategies as well as who to use them and how do they help you to manage your risk. So let's get started. So the first one is called the cover call option strategy. And as you can imagine, it comes with, it will involve a call option. So who, will be exam who are the examples of people who will be using this? You have people who own the asset. So let's say ETH. So in crypto space, we have two types of people who have that. The first type, are people who just have ETH as investment, you know? I have ETH in my wallet and I'm just keeping it because I'm worried of volatility. So we have that. And the second way is people who are liquidity providers to protocols like hedging. Or, yeah, so this would be an example of, of the first part, owning asset. Part B is where you will be selling a call option. So remember what call option is? Call option is basically the ability for someone else to buy your ETH. So that's a call option. So what, we can, what we're doing over here is that you're, you first you own the asset itself. Second, you're also an option seller. You're selling, you're selling this possibility for someone to buy, it, to, to buy this asset from you, ETH, at a different price. So let's see how it works in numbers. So let's say ETH right now is worth $1,800 and you want to sell this call option. So let's say the call option is worth, the strike price is $1,950 and they have to pay a premium of, let's say, $100. So what does this mean? It means that ETH, the current price of ETH is $1,800 and that is your, your profits. And when you sell the option, you're going to sell at a little bit, when ETH goes a little bit higher. So let's say this will become beneficial. So let's say ETH becomes $2,200. Okay, let's say this is the price. And when someone buys the call option from you, they get to buy, instead of going out to the market to buy at $2,200, they can go to you because they've already, you've already made a promise at, and they can buy from you at $1,950. And how do we justify, why would, why would I do this? This is not a good deal because I have ETH at $1,800. I can go to the market and sell it for $2,200. But the benefit for me is that I receive this 100 bucks. This is called the premium. So premium is why people want to be option sellers because they get to earn some money. And how does this strategy help us to manage our risk? So firstly, because think of it as this is money upfront, right? Whether ETH goes to $2,200, or ETH drops to $1,000, or ETH, whatever happens to ETH, doesn't matter because I have this money up front. I have 100 bucks up front, right? And now, what happens is that because I have this money up front, so if I make any losses, at least this can help me to cover my loss, right? So let's say they're going to buy at this amount of money, $2,200. So I am my loss will be $2,200. $200 minus $1,950 plus this $100 premium that I have. So this is where $2,200 is way more than $1,950, right? So this is if it's outside the, the strike price, which is $1,950. The other, the other scenario is that if it's at the strike, 
So you're basically, if if the value is at strike, so it's $1,950 instead of $2,200, minus the this thing that you're, you're selling them, $1,950, plus $100 that you receive upfront, you actually make money, right? And if it's below $1,950, so below strike, below strike, so let's say it's it's $1,800. So if it's $1,800, then nobody will execute your call option. So you still have your strike, if you still have your original ETH, and then you still have that $100 premium. So this is, this is for people who are, example, liquidity providers to Hedrick, and you want to limit your losses, you want to earn that premium when prices is between $1,800 and your strike price, you get to earn that. So if you're, if you're a liquidity provider at Hedrick, then you may also want to sell, you're also automatically selling a call option in that case. So by being a liquidity provider at Hedrick, you kind of more or less are going into this strategy of covered call options. So it does, the thing is it does limit your upside quite a bit, but it also limits your downside because you're earning returns, you're earning premiums. So that's strategy number one. St strategy number two is merit put. We talked about merit put a few times already, and merit put is really a protection against prices falling. How does it work? Again, you have the asset. So let's say your asset is ETH. And what you do is you buy a put option. So let's say ETH is $1,800 and you buy a put option and say, let's say I'm, I want to, you buy a put option meaning someone will sell, some, someone will buy the option from you at, at a specific price. So let's say it's 1000 if you're worried of prices falling, right? So let's say again, $1,800, so you don't, there is no, there is no volatility in prices, and again, your option premium is one hundred dollars. So your loss, you know, your your maximum cost is this one hundred dollars that you spend in option, and your maximum gain is when one thousand eight hundred goes to very very high. You can sell it and you can have maximum gain. And if 1,800, if the option becomes falls down to $1,600, then you can sell you can sell your ETH at $1,800 and make the difference, which is 200 bucks minus your loss of 100 bucks. So this is how you can this merit put is how you can use put options as a as a strategy to help you against prices falling. Now, who will use this? People who use this would be stuff, will be, for example, you are using ETH for trading. You are holding ETH. You're holding ETH for a short term period and you're worried of price fluctuation. Or maybe you just, you're just looking at protecting your assets. Maybe you're protecting your assets at a specific monetary value and you want to keep that monetary value. So these are examples of people who are using merit put. And this merit put, you can buy them in, in Hedrick, you can buy them in Opium, you can buy them in Potion. And the next one we're going to talk about is OKYN. You can also buy it there. You can also buy them there. So we have covered two simple strategies now. And lastly, I want to move on to something a bit more complicated. It's the bull call spread mechanism. What we're trying to do is to limit the losses and increase the returns within the range. So I talked about how option one is, is really helping you to earn some money for between a period, like between the, the two different prices and a, a range. But you still have quite a downside, right? Because if, if prices fall too if you can also have you can have a downside if prices increase very 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 high, and you are making a lot 
a lot of losses. So if ETH becomes $10,000 and you have to sell them at $1,950, then you're making a huge amount of loss. And strategy number two is to protect yourself against losses, to protect yourself against volatility in prices. What if I combine them together and I get this bull call spread? That's basically it. So technically, you kind of combine them together. And what you do with a bull call spread is that you're buying a call option and you're selling a call option at different prices. So we're going to clean the board and we're going to see how it looks like. Okay, so let's do a graphic understanding to see what this bull call spread means. As the name suggests, use this strategy when you're very bullish on the market. So you think that prices of ETH is going up. So we're going to construct a simple chart. This will be the price of your asset. So let's say ETH. And this will be your profit and loss. So to construct this bull call spread, we need a, a few things. The first one is you need, you're going to buy and sell call options during the same transaction. So buy call options. So, and let's say this is, let's say ETH is $1,800 and you have $1,700 and you sell call option at a higher price of $1,950. So what this strategy does is basically to limit your limit your losses, also limit a bit of your gain, but you can you get to earn the premium in between the, the two prices. So for this to work, you need to you need three strategies. The first one is the same quantity of ETH. The second is your same ETH asset. So you can't have one is ETH and one is BTC. It doesn't work. It it is this is used to protect the same asset, also the same quantity. So three ETH is three ETH. You buy and sell call option at three ETH for three ETH. And lastly, the expiry is the same. So they, ex they both expire at the same time. And for this strategy, the, the key difference between the strategy one and strategy two is that it makes more sense if you actually own the underlying asset. In this situation, it might not be the case where you actually have to own the underlying asset because when you're buying and selling the call option, you kind of cancel them out, kind of. So this is the, this is the strategy. And how does it work? You, so when you are bullish on the, when you're bullish on the underlying, so when you're bullish on ETH, you expect the prices to rise just moderately, okay? So if it rises between, between, from 1000 from 1800 to 1950 then you people will probably not execute or they could execute but you can earn the premiums the premiums is more than your loss so that is good and if it rises way too much then you can you can just stick to the first up you can just stick to another strategy where you are just limiting your downside which is strategy number 2 the the merit put the protective put so you can have unlimited upsides. But here we want to limit the upside and earn that, earn that premium over here. And so what we are also doing here is that we are limiting the downside. So do you remember the scenario that we have in, in, scenario, in scenario one, where you have ETH and you put ETH in the liquidity pool in Hedric and you are also buying, you're also uh, selling call options to protect you're to be earning the profits over here. So you basically get to earn some profits and you get to limit your downside. So there was, there's a strategy that's already out there in Hedric by being a liquidity provider. What you're doing right now is to, this method is the Hedric method, is method number one. What I want to do now is, because with that method, my losses can still be quite big because my losses could be, it could go down unlimitedly, unlimitedly. So what you can do is you can also buy a call option to limit your risk. And buying a call option meaning means that you can sell. You can sell the call. If the call option goes way too low, let's say it is drops to $1,000, someone will buy from you at $1,700. So you're basically limiting your loss 
and your loss will be the premiums payable. So this is the this is a strategy that you could use. And as always, one of the, the downside to this strategy is that it can be quite expensive. It can be quite expensive because you're buying two different options. I mean, it can be quite expensive because although you're buying the, the call option and you're selling, you, you can make you're firstly limiting your your rewards because it's not unlimited. And then you the premiums might also differ. And maybe you could the, the call option is quite expensive. At the same time, this could also be a mechanism to help you reduce your cost. So let's say the call option, to buy the call option, super, super, super expensive because option prices are so expensive right now. You Let's say you're buying the call option in method number two to protect against prices falling down, right? It, against price volatility. And I want to do that because I don't want my if I don't want to lose out so much. But this is quite expensive. It's about you know more plus minus ten percent of ETH itself. So if I have ETH is one thousand eight hundred dollars and I'm buying a call option of a difference of a small amount of money, I have to pay almost two hundred bucks for this for this option, and it's quite expensive. You know I I don't want to do that. So what can I do? I can also sell a call option at a higher price. And because I will receive premiums here, and they can offset the call option that I'm purchasing. So this bull, this bull, bull call spread is quite useful in a lot of different scenarios. The first scenario is when you are, we talked about scenario number one. Let's say you are a liquidity provider in Hedric and you are automatically, you automatically sell call options as well. There are a lot of benefits to that. And you want to protect yourself even more and say that I'm going to also buy a call option to limit my downside. So that's one scenario. Scenario number two is where you say, I am, I'm worried about volatility in prices, but my call option is so expensive. I want to buy a call option to be protected as insurance, but it's so expensive. So what I can do is also going to that platform or another platform and to be selling call options at a specific price or at, at, a, strike, at a higher strike price. And that premium that I receive can be used to offset this premium of the, the insurance, the, the volatility insurance that I'm purchasing. So with that, it sums up three different kinds of strategies to get you started. There's also, of course, the, the bear call spread, which is the other direction when it's a bear market. But it seems like it's a bull market now, so I just want to keep, leave you with these three different strategies and hope it makes some sense and hope it adds a lot of value when we're looking into the next protocol later of OPYN. Because with OPYN, you can, you can buy these kind of option strategies. It's also important to think about if you want to buy these strategies, one of the things to think about is you want to execute them in the same transaction instead of two separate transactions because gas fees are so expensive now. So hope that makes a lot of sense. And till then, I'll see you in the next episode when we talk about OPYN. In the meantime, drop any questions that you have and check out the book that I've written on token economics and all the math and mechanisms behind these DeFi products. Till then, I'll see you next week. Bye!